All right, I'm going to try some mildly elusive nebulae um, with my night vision gear here. We've got a Gen 3 on film white phosphor image intensifier looking into a uh, 108 millimeter f1.5 night vision lens that has a full aperture 10, no 10 nanometer wide H alpha filter. And on the back end is a Panasonic GH5S camera looking into the intensifier via an IGT-1X relay. So we're staring right now at what's called a Sol Nebula in Perseus. Kind of looks like a vertical blob of stuff. And if I go up a little from there, I've got an upside down heart nebula. Can you make out the heart? The pointy tip of the heart is kind of, uh, if we go clock angles, maybe 11 o'clock. And then there's two lobes of the heart below it, diagonally below it. One lobe's bigger than the other, the right lobe's bigger than the other lobe, but it's an upside down heart. It's a heart nebula. And uh, you got the heart and the soul. Soul's in the center, the heart's in the center. So they call these the heart and soul nebulae. Kind of show both of them there. A little hard to make out. They're about 45 degrees above the horizon, so they could be higher in the sky, but I'm trying to catch them right now. <laughs> it's approaching two o'clock in the morning. If I pan up into Cassiopeia from here, I can pick up one more nebula. That's a lot smaller but brighter. There we go. This guy here, this little fuzzy thing, is called the Pac-Man. And uh, if you look at him, you can see his open mouth is kind of pointing up. There's a notch in the thing, and that uh, looks like the mouth of a Pac-Man, right? Sitting in the sky, not going anywhere. Ready to devour whatever Pac-Man used to go after. Forget what that was. Anyway, there's the Pac-Man, and we had the heart and soul before. Bring them back into view one more time. Sweeping down. There they are. Heart and soul. And the camera settings, by the way, are 1 40th of a second shutter. ISO is 3200, and you have a 10 nanometer H alpha filter, full aperture filter on the uh, 4X magnification uh, night vision lens. So, we'll call that a wrap. Real-time views from just outside of Mount Pinos, by the way, California.